What's poppin' Savvy Investors? It's your Savvy Investor Dex here, back with another banger. I know I've been gone a long time. As y'all can see, I have on um, this, this wonderful accessory. Uh, kinda looks like backpack straps, but it's actually a back brace. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, on my uh, personal page, I posted a story. I was in a car accident and I got my car T-boned. Like new car had just got a, gotten it, hadn't even gotten the tags in yet. And now I'm in the back brace. So that's why I kind of been uh, on for a while. But anyway, I came to answer the question that I seem to always get. And it's about contracts. As you can see in the title, contracts. Listen guys, there's two basic contracts you can use. I'm gonna make this short and sweet and simple as possible. Well, let's start here. First thing first, depending on what type of deals that you're working, if you're working state funds, then you're probably gonna use um, the uh, forms that the state provides. If you're working tax overages, sometimes the county that you're working would provide you with the uh, proper forms to withdraw funds, like Florida, tons of those people, you can just go download it. If you're working mortgage overages, some places provide those, not as many, but there are two basic documents that you can use to get the ball rolling on your deal no matter what market you are in you ready for this real simple general agreements limited power of attorneys okay a general agreement and the limited power of attorney at the very least that'll get you enough uh, control slash power within the deal to bring that to attorneys and say, Hey, I have a client. This is my asset recovery business. This is what I'm looking to do. Uh, one of the easiest ways to get uh, new attorneys is when you have deals, you bring them that show them that limited power of attorney, show them that general agreement, um, have a conversation with them about the pay structure and what you're trying to do and go from there. Now, Let's say that you need other paperwork to get the deal done. Well, hey, Dexter, I'm working in Saginaw County, wherever that is, and we have to use a special motion to withdraw funds. And let's say that you're from Saginaw County and you don't know that and you take my advice and you go get you a general agreement and a limited power of attorney. Then you bring it to your attorney. He's like, hey man, you can't use this. However, you may need to add paperwork to it, a general agreement outlining what you're doing, what you're charging, uh, what you expect out of the client and what they expect out of you. Number one, that's business contract law. Uh, and a limited power of attorney is just what it says, guys. Limited power of attorney. That doesn't matter, a limited power of attorney over anything. That's why we fill it out in this very specific in what we're doing. I put the case number on the power of attorneys um, I put the address if the ad, uh, if there's an address applicable and that's just so they know this only applies to this case and you can like I said bring that to an attorney and if you need to add paperwork sure you can always add paperwork but I promise you all 50 states a limited power of attorney and a general agreement will definitely get the ball rolling okay I want to answer another question real quick before I wrap this up and that's about the 50 50 50 program Guys, the program will be shut down the rest of this year. I know a couple of people that reached out to me. Um, I have hit capacity for uh, this year in regards to the amount of people I want to work with. So what I will be doing is I will be making a list of people that have reached out to me and has shown interest in working. And when the program opens back up, which it'll open back up in January of next year, I will be accepting new people to work with. And the reason I like doing it like this, guys, I can't work with 25 people and still focus on my business because as 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 much as I like partnering with you guys, I, I don't want to have a business model based on any kind of coaching or partnerships that I rely on to fuel my business. So I still have stuff to take care of in my day to day when I'm getting my business done. Me partnering with people uh, more so comes from the amount of courses that's out here that people pay for. And I'm not saying that they're bad, but I'm saying this is a very nuanced business and I'd much rather provide value to somebody through a 50-50-50 partnership for those of you that hadn't saw the video. 
um, I will tag it below in this one, I guess, or I'm sure to pop up on the screen at some point in time. But the 50, 50, 50 is we will 50, 50 all of the deals until we get to $50,000 a piece. I make 50, you make 50. Um, I will hold your hand through it. I take the phone calls for you. We, we three-way them, bet, uh, better yet, so you can actually hear, hear, hear how I close them. I plug you into my network, and if you want to get in your backyard, we can get in your backyard and do the same thing. So that's exactly what the 50-50-50 program is. Just wanted to come answer a couple of questions for some people, guys. Don't stress out about the contracts, guys. Like, I promise you, don't stress yourself too much. You do need the proper paperwork to get this done, obviously, but don't stress yourself out. General agreement, limited power of attorney. It's your savvy investor decks, and I'm 